So Grant and Austin's been on my case. They say, you gotta get a ski, you gotta get a snowmobile. You just, it's so much easier to use them going back and forth on your farm. I need one going back and forth, checking my pigs, going to my shop because I just want to tinker. Uh, it's always snowing. It's snowing right now. It's crazy. So, I bought a ski. Let's get to it. So it's kind of late in the night. It's almost 7 o'clock. Oh, crap. I left the door open. Oh, there's snow all over the place. Oh, man. Oh, this hardwood floor. It's... I don't know. It might be ruined. I don't know. Hopefully this is water-treated floor. Whew. That might be an issue. Man, I'm going to have to scoop this up. Get all this out of here before it bows up all my wood. Alright, so here's our ski. So I know it's late, but I really just want to go see how good it rides on the snow right now. So I think I'm going to take it out for a quick ride. Let's lower down these ramps. Alright, let's see if this thing starts up. Oh, yeah. There we go. That sounds good. Love the sound of a two-stroke. Alright, where is the lights on this thing? There we go. Definitely need them. Uh, don't really know where I'm going to go. I, I think I'm going to go check on the pigs late tonight just to make sure they have water and everything. Oh, whoa. There we go. There's my gate. So... Oh man, this is so much easier than having to go all the way around trying to find a plowed road. Oh, I think this is a jump opportunity. Let's go. Woo! Whoa, don't know how I ended up over here, but that was crazy. This dumbder looks like it's working good. It's lit up and everything. Oh man, we're going to have to do another jump over this. Yeah. I cut like at least five minutes off of that journey there. Alright, so let's go see... Oh, I forgot to shut off the lights. Where was that switch again? There it is. So, looks like we got some corn I really need to try to get that weed over there, but my I, I need to get my uh, wagon fixed. It's just not working out for me. Been so cold and drizzly, I just can't take my, get myself to go out there and fix the wagon. Alright, we got water, we got feed, and it's nice and toasty in here for them so the pigs are doing good you believe it's spring and it's still snowing can't believe how much snow we got here this is a crazy year this has got to be record breaking for this area uh, I want to look over my our fields because if you don't know we got a lot of tillage to do in the spring so, because I bought the pigs, I need to till up some of my grass fields. So that's going to take extra time ripping that stuff up, ripping all the sod up. And I need to plant my uh, big field over here into sections. So I plan on doing that early in the spring, but we've got a crazy amount of snow that has to uh, melt off here. I'm really worried. Really worried about getting our seed in on on time. Start this up again. All right. Gotta say these are kind of fun. I'm gonna enjoy having this. So I should have bought this early in the winter. Didn't think we we're gonna have this bad of a winter though. And take it kind of slow means I'm gonna have to go across the road here. So 
So this is our field. I know it doesn't look like a field. It looks like a big snow drift, but this is our field here. So I wanted to go out here just to see how thick the snow is in the middle of it. Haven't been able to check it. Oh, wow. It's, this is deep. Some deep snow right here. Man. I'm really worried about being able to get out here sometime. I hope we're able to get out here early and get some tillage done. We need a lot of sunny days. Just love driving in the late night. We get to see all that snow. Woo! Forgot about that little uh, mound there. So we're actually going to put that mound into grass because uh, it's kind of hard going over with the combine. Crazy how big this field is. Go over here. Ooh, oh man, had to slow down there. I, I thought I was gonna hit that uh, telephone pole. But I think this is over by Bucksland here. Oh wow. This Buck's tractor got left out in the snow this winter? Wow, I wonder why he didn't take that back to his place. It's crazy he left that out in the field all winter long. Yep. Buck left his 9470RT. I didn't even know he had one of them. Looks like he was trying to rip late into the winter and the ground probably froze on him. I'm surprised he didn't try to get that thing home. Oh, that's a lot of money sitting in the field, but Crazy amount of money for me. I, I, I'd have to get that home any way possible. What the heck? What the heck is that? You guys see that? An old combine in these trees? What? Holy cow! It's on our land. Look at this old thing. Man, I I remember when I was really young. I used to drive a 1480. One of the first combines I drove. That and a Gleaner. 1480. Things nice. Some old. International combines are pretty nice. They still a lot of them running out there. Though I love the white caps on these things. Man, this thing is cool. It is in the weed row. This thing have a motor in it even? Yeah, it has a motor. Wonder is this thing seized up? No, the motor ain't even seized. What the heck's wrong with this thing? Why would it be in the weed row? It's getting a cab here. Oh, it's not even locked up. Wow, this is crazy. This is a nice combine to be in a weed row. I think I'm gonna. You know what? Let's see if we can get this combine out of here it's too late tonight but maybe in the morning when we wake up we can get this if it doesn't snow too much tonight we can get this thing out somebody did take the batteries out of it oh yeah looks like the hydrostatic kind of broke on it the motor over there Kind of in pieces. 
Huh. Wonder if the rotor and everything's good. I think it's at least worth pulling it back to the shop. And maybe this can be take our mind off of not being able to get in the field. Work on this a few days. This thing. I wouldn't mind uh, resurrecting this one day if we had the time and money. A nice combine there. So I think I'm gonna head back, catch some Z's, and uh, maybe in the morning, after we check on the pigs and everything, we can try to pull this old combine out. Yeah, that's crazy that was left in the weed row. My uncle really left a lot of equipment parked in the weeds. I guess when your house's failing, you just can't uh, can't take care of that stuff properly, and stuff stops breaking down, and you run out of money and everything. Oh well, we're gonna get back. We're gonna fall asleep. This was a fun, adventurous little uh, ski ride here. This is a fun little uh, late night drive we had here. I'm glad we took it. Finally stopped snowing. That's good. So I'm gonna drink some coffee. I really like to see if we can possibly get that old combine back to our shop. I didn't know we bought the shop. You could basically see the roof of it about right here. See the silos a little bit to the right of it. That's our nice heated shop we have there. Uh, get some coffee in me and uh possibly we could pull that out uh-oh we got more snow Woo. I'm so sick of acting the extra snow around here uh, at least it's not it's about only four inches not enough to really concern yourself with but the roads are gonna have a little bit of slush and ice on them All right, so we're just gonna make sure our pig waterer froze up, so we have to uh, manually haul the water. So that's what we're doing right now. So we got the pig's water, that's important. We'll go and check them. So we got pig water for them. Everything should be good. We're all good right now. We'll unhook this right here. Uh, I actually I need to drain this before I forget. Don't want to leave water in our pump here. Drain that and unhook it. So it looks like this uh, is a little bit blown off. There's not too much snow on the roads here, so it must mean it's hopefully uh, melting. Uh, but it's only eight degrees again today. I mean this spring is just not helping us out we need a lot of hot weather and we need it quick need the snow to disappear so i can get in the field but we're going to uh go pick up a trailer i purchased uh i if you don't know i got a hit on the road our trailer got damaged i ended up it's all bent up so i had to end up getting rid of it and so I've been looking for another trailer and finally found one. So I'm going to go pick that up because uh, I think we might need it for picking up our uh, old international combine. Roads really ain't that bad because uh, they're just a little bit of snow here and there on them. So it's not too much of an issue. So we shouldn't have a problem pulling our trailer. So we picked up our trailer. Looks like I have to uh, adjust the front hitch just a little bit. Might have to get less of a uh, put a little bit higher uh, drop hitch on this thing. So looks like it's not riding completely flat like I would like it to. It does give a little bit of squat to this old Ford, but not too much. 
So I just I'd re I decided to get a bumper pull, even though goosenecks uh, ride better, but decided I'd go with a bumper pull for now. So uh, after using bucks, I kind of like it. All right, so we're gonna pull in here. Fill up our uh, tank with gas there. Of course, you guys think I can drive by Casey's without stopping? Duh. Oh, ow. All right, man, I need a, I need a shovel around this place or something. Wow. Come on, man. I know we just got snow last night, but we didn't get this much snow. All right, we got our hot chocolate. Now head back to the farm and get all of our supplies to run over there and hopefully get this whole uh, hopefully get that combine dragged over back to our shop so we're gonna pull over here so we're headed down I'm gonna probably leave this truck on the side of the road close where and then I'm gonna call my wife. She's gonna give me a ride to the shop. I'm gonna grab our old 4960. We got a blower on it now. Oh, yep, there's our combine off over there in the trees. There's Buck's tractor that's been in the weeds or in his field all winter long. We're gonna leave this about right here. Uh, guess I'll just put some signs out there isn't no one really on the roads right now, so I think we'll be all right. Just to leave it, I'll leave the hazards on. And uh, call my wife and get a ride back over here. Or get a ride back to our shop. Ooh, I love having a heated shop. So here is our uh, 4960. I got the blower on it. Uh, so good thing is we're gonna open this door start it up quickly and uh oh, we got to do a little bit of cleanup around here you can see we got with the extra snow we got a lot of uh, snow to blow and i'd like to get a path so i can utilize these doors because i can't take anything over this big drifts here just crazy amount of snow you just can't can't push it anywhere out of the way Open that door up. Let's go start this old girl up. Yeah. That's what I like about having a heated shop. You don't have to worry about your tractors not starting. I shut this door. I forgot to shut it. There we go. Let the tractor just warm up a little bit more. So, yeah, I think the easiest thing is just to, uh, continuously blow and I'll blow all this kind of to this pile right here to the doors and then uh because we already got this cleared out basically all right now we'll shut that door jump in this tractor like I said we're doing a lot of this just to keep my mind off of not being able to get in the field. Blow this snow. I want to get all here and then we'll keep pushing it that direction. And I'm, when you're dealing with this amount of snow, you really just need a, a snow blower, that's for sure. I think I at least want to make one more uh, swath just so I can get around. Probably have to make a couple more swaps just to clean this up. Alright, now we got that cleared off. So, that was basically my nemesis with that big drift in front of my shop. Now I'm going to clear off some of the snow here. Uh, move that spout a little bit over there. There we go. Just clear this out. Got a kind of a mess over here by my pigs kind of needs cleaned up too 
All right, so that looks a lot better. So we're gonna head down here, turn our blinkers on. We're gonna head down here and uh, try to pull this old tractor out. All right, this is our turn right here. So should be just down the road, we should see our truck. Glad I don't see anybody on the road yet, so we shouldn't have an issue leaving our truck on in the road. Uh, hopefully this old girl can pull out that international. A deer helping out an international. There's that, uh, there's our truck. There is the International. Let's see if we can, uh, pull her out. Alright, got a little bit of snow around it. Not too packed in, so which path do we need to take? Hmm. I really don't want to get them bushes in our snow blower. I think I'm gonna take this path right on the side of our uh, field here and then uh, blow it over and possibly right back over here. So this looks like a good spot where you can get a chain hooked up. We can pull at least to the road then we can winch it onto our trailer. So that's the plan. Don't know if that's going to work or not. But probably not. We'll probably scrap it all and start with something else. So we will get this uh, old girl started. Alright, so we started uh, clearing a path over here. Should be good enough. So I'm going to have to get my brush hog. Or get, I'm going to have to probably get a uh, chainsaw out so I can cut the cut these brushes off. Now the plan is... Alright, I think I wanted to go right here. Go. There we go. It's working better than what I thought it was going to. Clear this all the way up. There. Alright, so we got all that done. Kinda got a path here. Sorta. We gotta work on this entrance right here. Blowing this snow off. Go. Now we got a path made. So now the plan is I think I'm gonna unhitch this uh, snow blower here quickly in the road. Put on the chain and try to hitch that up. Alright, so we got this the chain hooked up now. So we got it underneath, we got it hooked to an axle right there. We, I should have got a longer chain, so we're going to have to really be careful so we don't break the, the spreader or the back end of this thing, the ladder. Uh, we can't raise the head up, so we don't have no hydraulics. So I might have to, if we can't get this out with the header down, let's get a jack. Actually, I think I'm going to do that anyways, just so we don't damage this head, because right now this head don't look too bad. It looks like it could be repairable. So I'm going to go to the truck, get a jack, lift this head up, put uh, the braces in so the head don't fall down, and uh, it should stay. So I'll go do that now. So now i got to figure out where I can put these jacks at. I think I'll put them right under there. We should be able to lift this up. Alright, 
so we got these we got the braces put in so that the header don't fall so it's just uh, mechanically held up so now we should be oh now we have to make sure it's in neutral all right put this thing in neutral all right so now hopefully this old John Deere can help this international out well we're pulling it's like it's going good so far oh gotta take it nice and slow creep this thing out so we got to make sure that head don't hit none of the branches Whew. it's gonna take a while getting this thing out we kind of have to go in there and manually turn the combine from now time to time really should have somebody helping me out all right so we're slowly creeping this thing a little bit closer so I think I'm gonna leave it about right there we'll unhitch it and then uh, back our trailer right up to it all right so we're gonna leave it right there I'm gonna hook up to my snow blower again get it out of the way there we go I'm gonna move this in front leave the blinkers running go have that running now I just need to get the trailer backed up all right now we're gonna winch this thing all the way up on the trailer all right so we got this thing up on the trailer it's just barely narrow enough for this trailer I think we'll leave the head jacked up so now we just have to get it back to our farm all right we're just parking this in here got everything parked in and of course we finally got our combine dragged in here so I kind of got it out of the way over here to the side of the shop but I don't know we might have to move it around somewhere else but hopefully we can get it running here in this winter and uh, possibly resurrect this combine so this combine has definitely been in that field for at least 10 years if not more but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time